Um, so the committee comments aren't, aren't visible anyway, but the uh, registered conservation bodies comments sit here. This is not a registered conservation user. Um, this is a public comment um, comment, so it sits in this one, and this is organized um, you know, in sequential order. You are able to reply to someone else's comment, and that starts a thread. Um, so just hit the red reply link, so that's another way of commenting instead of hitting add new comment. When you hit add new comment, you're essentially starting a new thread, so it has nothing to do with the previous comment perhaps. Um, if you'd like to comment on someone else's comment, then hit the reply button. And then the, the way the comments are organized are then linked to each other, so you have, um, the, there'll be the thread ordered first and then the next thread. So um, that's the way these are organized. If you'd like to have more comments on one page than just the, the five by default, you can change the drop down and enable this and then it'll automatically add more comments down the screen. Uh, and you can scroll through different pages. There'll be a little button here, one of five or one of ten or whatever it is. Uh, if there's more than more comments than uh, what you see available. That's very easy. So um, once you've commented, you'd um, go to my comments and you can track back on comments that you've made before in the past. So this is quite useful um, if you can't remember the case that you commented on and if you'd like to go to your heritage authority as a registered conservation group and show them your commenting history for instance, um, you can then show them A, your comments and the, and the subject matter when you commented and then you can link back to the actual case. So these are the, the, the nodes. There are other things you are allowed to comment on on, on SARS depending on what you do on SARS. So if you object managers or site managers and so on or recording sites, you might be commenting on sites themselves rather than on cases and therefore the node ID uh, is quite flexible. It might apply to a case or to a site or to an object of course. So um, there's various layers to all of this but in, in the main you'll be generally commenting on uh, development cases. Um, so um, those are the two things to, to know. Find your case and go to uh, add new comment, add your comment, and my comments gives you a log of all your previous comments. A new thing we've added recently is maps, and this is an easier way to find developments in your area. Uh, so the, the first map is the map of all developments mapped on SARS, and this gives you a map view of all developments and a table listing. So I usually start with a table listing and I'll put in something like um, I'm interested in all uh, developments of housing developments perhaps. I hit apply and this applies to all the other filters so you can combine filters to create one very complicated filter and there's the matches so we've got 13 housing related developments that have been logged on SARA so far. Okay and then I simply go to map or I could hyperlink off to the actual cases and go and comment on them. But the map is quite useful as well because it just shows me where the matters are. And in the map I can also enable the layer for registered conservation bodies. So click on the map and you can see the registered conservation bodies. We only have one test conservation body mapped at the moment because we're still rolling out SARS. So you'll see little purple polygons all over the country for your particular reg registered conservation bodies. Um, this is just the Ezimbelo Quasi Natal Wildlife, which is not actually a registered conservation body, but we use them as an example to map um, and show what it looks like. Um, so that shows you which commenting bodies uh, would, would like to, to comment in terms of Section 25B of the NHRA. Um, don't forget the SARA reports layer we've covered in previous tutorials that shows you maps developments from the 1980s through, to, through 2009. So use that in combination with the, the blue polygons for current developments. So here I've filtered out housing and I'm looking at this one. I just let me click on the polygon. This is case ID 677 and that's the title of the case. So if I search for township uh, extension uh, Boya in, in SARS or on Google I'll find this case. Um, or I can just right click and hyperlink onto that case itself directly and off I go and I can start commenting on the um, on the case itself. So that's about it to um, browsing. There's a lot of work to be done on cleaning up the, um, the map view of developments um, 
and to make it a bit easier but uh, this is the, the general uh, direction um, it's starting to take shape now in, uh, you know, SARS is the first uh, site worldwide, actually, that gives you a map of all development cases in your area and allows you to comment and find all the documentation, all the decisions, all the case-related matters, uh, and track that whole process online. Thanks.